Hello, it's Josie here from Green Angels. Um, the 1st of May is May Day, so I'm going to run through an activity today, which is making your own mini maypole. So historically, May Day is the celebration of spring. Um, there'll be all, so all sorts of things like dancing, dancing around the maypole, eating cakes, which is a great British tradition, drinking tea. Um, but obviously, we can't do a lot of that at the moment, so I thought, let's celebrate in our own back gardens or in our own front rooms and make our own mini maypoles. So it's really simple, really straightforward. All you need is a stick, some scissors, collect some leaves or some dandelions or some flowers from your own garden if you can, um, and tie them together like this and some ribbons so I've, I've just used all these ribbons that I've kept over the years from gifts and all sorts of different things so if you have ribbons use those if you don't some coloured string or some coloured tape that'll do just as well so our first step is to make a little posy which is going to go on the top of our maypole so collect to get collect up some leaves or some dandelions these have just i've just taken off the front lawn because i don't look after my lawn very well so it's full of dandelions um and i've cut these from a, a shrub just on the hedge outside um obviously if you are cutting um things from other people's land do make sure you've got their permission so tie these together in a little with a little ribbon like this so you can do it with a bit of string it doesn't really matter because it won't be seen make sure you leave plenty of space on the ends like that and then tie that onto the top of your stick now you can get your stick from you can use a stick you could use a, an old um, kitchen roll uh, tube or you could just go out and, and find a stick from anywhere um, there are always fallen sticks on the road if if there's a tree the likelihood is there's a fallen stick somewhere underneath it so tie those onto the top of your stick like that that's the first step done next step is choose a ribbon that you like the most. So I'm going to choose this red ribbon. I think this is quite nice. Get a nice long length of it. This is kind of, I'm holding my arms outstretched. That should be enough. Cut your ribbon with your pair of scissors and then find your center of your ribbon. So here's the center of mine. Take the center and then tie it round where you've tied your your little wildflower posy or your little springtime posy onto the top of your stick. There we go, tie it on like that. Tie a double knot if you can, just makes it a little bit more secure. And now there's a few options here for a really simple straightforward one. You can just leave it like that and we'll tie all the other ribbons on as well to the same place. If you want to make it a bit more complex, what you can do now is plait these down over the stick. So make sure that the side, shiny side of the ribbon is outwards and then twist them down, crossing them over all the way down. So if anyone's ever danced around a maypole before, you'll know that this is what they do when they dance around the maypole. It's often children at country fairs and things like that, that they'll get ribbons and they'll do a dance holding the top of the ribbons and then you'll end up with a beautifully decorated pole with ribbons all around it in a really intricate design um, in, in place of not having a giant maypole and children to dance around it. This is what we are doing today. So get your ribbon wrapped around all the way down to the bottom like that and then once you've got it as far as you want it just tie another knot to keep that ribbon down there at the bottom keep it in place or you can tie a bow if you feel like doing the bow okay so there's the start of the maypole next step is choose as many ribbons as you like two three four different colors do the same thing get your nice long stretch as long as your arms cut your ribbon and again find the center of it and then we're going to do just the same with tying it on at the top around the top of your posy like that again tie a double knot if you want it really secure and choose all your different ribbon types this is one that I got 
on a birthday gift earlier this year. Tie them around and this is a great activity to do with children as well. If you have got children that you're wanting to keep occupied during the lockdown, a nice one with you know some detail and, and some design as well to keep them occupied for a good little while. So that's tied on there. We've got a couple of those and you can just keep going like that with all your different colours until you've got a maypole, a mini maypole, a mini wand, or you can use it as a wand. And that's your maypole. Celebrate spring.